Good morning, welcome to the Kai Hendry SAR show. Well, <laughs> the video where, uh, uh, day two of where Kai tries to make a business um, doing SAR software um, and this newfound freedom. My, video, my, my channel is more known for its like ThinkPad ArchNix videos and the good news for you guys is that uh, my T4 ATS is winging its way to me in Singapore but it's spent a whole day in customs in Shanghai as you can see here. I did say I was doing um, a submission for uh, GopherCon and I think I came up with a nice pitch. What do you think of this guys? Deploying your Go app once required, renting a VPS host, copying over the binary, and running the service behind a web server. This tedium can be obliterated with a one-step, less than five-second iteration time, scalable and inexpensive technology called serverless. Uh, is that a good pitch? You know what I mean, like copying your, Go, your, your web app to a VPS, you know, making sure it's running, Usually you have to put that behind something like Caddy for the SSL. I mean, all that stuff just took time and it was painful. And, and now with serverless, it's just like easy. So thanks for your comments yesterday. I did take up the advice of going for lunch. And a friend, of, uh, I met up with a, a friend who works at TransferWise. Can I say that? And um, after lunch, I paid for the bill and with the idea that he was going to like send me half of it with um, with pay now or pay la as it's called here in Singapore. Um, but as you can see by my tweets, uh, we we could, we you know we're two programmers, you know high tech people. We couldn't figure out how to transfer money between us. There seems to be some confusion between pay la and pay now and bank compatibility, because he's not with DBS. If, if any Singaporeans know how to do this, please let me know. So in the afternoon, I earmarked it for, for work on the super own, but I ended up working on this thing called the uh, GeoTiger. Well, I looked at it, I was looking at it because I'm looking for a nice Vue.js Golang flow, you know, like I, I use Vue.js Vue for the front end. I, I make a, I want to make a, I usually use standalone, like for example, if, if you look at Go Serverless, I'm only using the standalone one. But I was I was thinking of like, um, like how to make a bundle and how to easier use <laughs> third party scripts. I know that sounds bad. But then when I was looking at an old project of mine, the Google Maps uh, thing broke. So you can't pan uh, very easily anymore. So yeah, I just spent a bit of the afternoon working on that and I fixed it, I think, and I made it a little bit better. Like for example, I've got like an Uber style crosshairs in the middle there, I don't know if you can see that. Uh, and the, the, the whole idea with this is that you, you set the pinpoint to a, say a problem and then you upload a file um, and that file gets gets embedded with the the the, G, the geo coordinates of that point. So um, I, I got it working, but 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 there's there's a but. Yeah, the the, the but is I haven't figured out. So for example, if I'm if I'm editing the the view here, and I make a change, uh, what can I make a change doing? I don't know here. Hello. If I make a change, um, it won't get reflected. It, I mean, I could, I could. Um, what do you call it? I could, I could run it through Webpack Dev Server or something like that, right here. This takes ages to compile. The whole, whole JavaScript tool chain is horrible, isn't it? Oh no, it's complaining about something. Oh, doesn't like the fact that I put the hello there. Oh, yep. Um, so, yeah, if I run it with this Webpack serve thing, obviously I don't have the Golang post working because it's not hooking it into my Golang um, program. You know, I choose a file here. My face. That will not work because there's no upload route. So, 
Um, anyone who's familiar with Webpack, how do you how do you make it able to me able for me to quickly iterate with my JavaScript and then also go to my Go thing? Because because right now I, I my workflow is really bad. It's like this: I edit something here, then I do a, an npm uh, run build, and then I run uh, which takes forever, as you can tell. And and then and then I run gin and then I go localhost three thousand and 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 to test the whole thing. I just say, oh no, just want to stop that one, on this one, and then and then and then I get the, uh, the the bundle in there and then I and then obviously the the root works. Uh. So yeah, I thought it was important to spend time uh, working out what is a good view Golang flow because that's essentially how SuperOwn works and it's essentially how I write web applications nowadays. Um, and then I spent maybe an hour talking to recruiters, but uh, in Singapore, contracting is such no other thing. Basically, the couple of rec recruiters that I was sp speaking to were saying it's permanent only. Um, I think I, I, I'll end it there. It's long enough, isn't it? Um, thanks for watching. Please comment, like, subscribe. And yeah, the comments are really important because um, I'm working alone pretty much. So, oh, last but not least, I thought this was funny. A project that I worked with um, a guy named Patrick uh, years ago for Web Converger. This is actually the base of Web Converger. Web Converger is actually an operating system that's checked into Git. The whole root of is checked into Git. So when you boot the operating system, you actually mount the Git uh, repo and you launch a browser. That's kind of how Web Converger works. And the reason why we do it that way is so that we can easily roll up upgrades. We can even branch and, 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 ch and check out new features. It's quite innovative. I think this is the first Web Converger is the first operating system to do this. I think there's been subsequent operating systems to do it. But the interesting thing is that I got an email yesterday from GitHub asking me if I could work further on GitFS. And I forwarded that email to Patrick. He, he's the main driver. To be honest, my C skills are pretty bad. Patrick is a member of the Suckless community and, and uh, much better than I am. <clears throat> so credit goes to him. But I just thought it was funny to have that sort of validation that this code that we, that I, uh, well, and the idea um, that um, kind of came up with is uh, interesting to a company like GitHub. Okay, that's it. I'm going to end it there. I've got work to do. Bye now.